University of Southampton, the Neurochip has been developed to help test new drugs. New drugs are always needed to treat the many diseases we face, from cancer to diabetes. Unfortunately, the cost of generating these treatments is immense, at around 2.6 billion per drug. This is partly because only one out of 10,000 potential drugs ever makes it to market. Say these sweets are all types of potential drug. From this initial 10,000, only 40 will pass the initial research stage. Of these 40, only 10 will pass pre-clinical screening, and only two or three will pass all three phases of clinical trial. Out of those left, only one drug will make it to the market. Scientists in the University of Southampton have developed a new kind of technology that could bring down the initial cost of drug testing. This technology is called the Neurochip. So Neurochip is a, a simple device that enables you to address complex questions related to, for example, CNS disorders that in, can include autism, uh, Alzheimer's and various other types of neurodegeneration. Scientists use a number of weird lab animals and it seems very strange that we are learning about people by studying creatures that none of us could be mistaken for. So why exactly are they useful? The worms in question here are tiny nematodes known as C. elegans. They're useful because they are extremely simple. Adult worms are made up of around a thousand cells and they also have see-through skin which makes it possible for us to trace the development of every single one of these cells by simply looking at them through a microscope. When the worm goes into the neurochip, it produces uh, electrical activity and we've developed a piece of software that enables us to analyse different aspects of that. But what we really like to do is to, for example, take drugs, apply them to the worm, see how it uh, changes the neural activity and then identify the mode of action of those drugs. Testing different drugs using the neurochip isn't the only thing we can do with it. We can also use it to test different chemicals on various nematodes, which can seriously damage crops such as wheat. They are estimated to cause global losses of 80 to 120 billion pounds each year. With the EU removing nematicides from the drug market due to safety concerns, there is a call for newer and safer pesticides to be developed. By using the Neurochip, we can test these new pesticides on worms and develop newer and safer ways to protect our crops. The Neurochip has the potential to open many doors with its rapid high throughput testing of different drugs and hopefully dedicated research teams both within the University of Southampton and across the entire world will be able to use it to formulate new treatments for currently untreatable diseases.